This is a level two practice paper from City and Guilds, part A, where you can't use a calculator. There are 15 marks in total, and we'll look at each question in turn. Question number one, 531 times 1.4. Four times one is four, four times three is twelve, four times five is twenty, and the one twenty one. Put in the zero down, one times one is one, one times three is three, one times five is five. Adding them together, so we're ignoring the decimal point so far. Good. Four, three, four, seven. Now we'll need to count how many decimal places there are in total. We have one here and we haven't got any one in 531. So we'll give this final number one decimal place. So we'll go one and place the decimal point there. So we've got 743.4 as the final answer. Now we've got 5 to the power of 4 as the second question, which means 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. 5 times 5 is 25. 25 times 5 is 125. Now we multiply that by 5. So 125 times 5. 5 times 5 is 25, 5 times 2 is 10, and the 2 at the top makes 12, so 2 down and 1 carried over. 5 times 1 is 5, and the 1 is 6, so 625. Question number 3, the following diagram shows a parallelogram. What is the size of angle A? As this is a parallelogram, this angle here will be equal to A. And we also know that angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. So we know that this is 110, taking it away from 180, that leaves us with 70 degrees. Which one of the following works out to the largest number? We've got 3 quarters of 8, 2 sixths of 12, 3 halves of 10, and 3 twelfths of 36. So 8 divided by 4 is 2, times 3 that is 6, 12 divided by 6 is 2, times 2 is 4. 10 divided by 2 is 5, times 3 is 15. 36 divided by 12 is 3, times 3 is 9. So C is the largest number. What is 52% as a fraction in its lowest terms? 52% percent means 52 out of 100. Looking at 52 and 100, I can divide them both by 2. So this is going to be 26 over 50. Again, I can divide both 26 and 50 by 2, so I can get 13 over 25. Now there is no other number I can divide them both by. So we'll leave it as it is.
If the wheel is spun again, what is the chance of diamonds being the winner? Give your answer as a fraction. So we'll have a look at how many diamond symbols there are here. And there is just one. Out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 1 out of 12. 1, 12. So we've got a circle, the radius is 3.92 centimeters, which calculation gives an approximation of the area of the circle in centimeters squared. Tick one box. So the formula for the area of the circle is pi r squared. r is about 4. So if we think of pi as being 3 and then radius being 4, 4 squared. So 3 times 4 squared or 3 times 16. And that's option C. Calculate 8 take away 4 squared all over 8. So 8 take away 4 squared, which is 16, all divided by 8. So 8 take away 16 is negative 8 all divided by 8. If I simplify this by dividing both by 8, then I have negative 1 over 1, and any number divided by 1 gives the number itself. So negative 1 is the answer. Got a graph. What are the coordinates of the line at point star? So we've got it here. So we'll do X first. So I'll go across. And that's where I'm stopping. So that is 5, comma, and that is minus, so negative 3. So 5, comma, negative 3. Which is option B. Which one of the following is the front elevation of the house from the view shown? Tick one box. So looking at the options, it's not A, because this extension in the picture above is not on the right, it's on the left. Looking at E, that's definitely not what we can see from the front, it's from the side, and it's not D either, so it is actually C. as you can see. Question number 11. A commuter uses a bus and train to get to work. The train is more than five minutes late, one-sixth of the times they use it. The bus is more than five minutes late, three-fifths of the times they use it. What's the probability that both the bus and the train will be more than five minutes late? So we'll actually combine them. 
which means multiplying. So one six one sixth times three fifths equal three over thirty, which is one tenth. Question number 12, the final question. A model maker wants to make a model of a ship. He will use a scale of 1 to 50. The ship was 100 feet long. One foot is equal to 0 0.3 meters. How long will the model ship be in centimeters? So we'll first of all have a look at the dimensions we've got so the ship was 100 feet long we'll convert that to meters and then we'll get the model ship in centimeters so getting them all metric first so if one foot equals 0 0.3 meters what about 100 feet To get from 1 to 100, we've multiplied by 100, so we'll do the same on the other side. 0 0.3 times 100, that equals 30 metres. Now that is the length of the real ship. What about the model ship, which is going to be much smaller? And we're going to have a scale of 1 to 50. And we need our answer in centimeters so this 30 meters in centimeters we know that in one meter there are 100 centimeters so in 30 meters there will be 3000 centimeters so multiplied by 100 30 times 100 gives us 3000 centimeters so that is in reality. So that is the model and that's in reality. So we'll get here now under the R, reality, 3000 centimetres. How many centimetres will that be for the model ship? To get from 50 to 3000 we multiply by 60 we can find that out by dividing 3000 by 50 so we'll do the same on the other side times 60 so that gives us 60 centimeters 